and welcome to the Over 40s Fitness Podcast. My name is Tristan Lowe and today I'm going to uh, talk about or just discuss uh, briefly um, some of the um, evergreen reading material that I, I go to for reference sometimes for all things health and fitness. And uh, I thought I'd start with this book here. Um, I picked up this book, it's the Encyclopedia, uh, Encyclopedia of uh, Bodybuilding uh, by Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, co-written with um, uh, the uh, trusted Bill Dobbins. Now, uh, this book uh, has been revised a few times, um, and I think I picked this up in 2008 uh, uh, in Milton Keynes, if my, my memory serves me right. And the reason the, uh, that I went with this book first uh, to talk about is because recently Arnold Schwarzenegger has had a, um, a well-published and uh, published and well-polished um, uh, documentary, I think it was on Netflix, uh, about his life, and uh, I've always been a big Arnold Schwarzenegger fan since I was the age of about 10 or 11. I grew up watching his uh, classic movies from Conan the Barbarian to the, the early Terminator movies, right up until some of the stuff he's done recently. But Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, a great success story, depending on my, your, uh, your, your opinions. Uh, but one thing is, uh, is a fact that uh, alongside uh, Ronnie Coleman, uh, who arguably is the joint greatest bodybuilder of all time, Ronnie Coleman, I would say Arnold Schwarzenegger as well, and not just because of the work that he did after bodybuilding, but because of what he was up against um, in, uh, in the prime of his career. Now, uh, this book, um, I think is for, whilst it looks like a book just for men, it's actually uh, for women as well. It's a fantastic encyclopedia uh, about bodybuilding, um, and not necessarily bodybuilding to, you know, to get you to look like Arnie in his prime or Ronnie Coleman in his prime, but essentially to get you to build a better body. Now that could be sleeping well, hydrating, nutrition, uh, different forms of resistance training. Again, this, this book uh, has, has been many a time um, uh, uh, updated or re, you know, re, uh, looked at and improved. But I would say if you're looking for a book that you can keep uh, for the next 20, 30 years um, and go to um, as the Bible of, uh, of bodybuilding, I would say this one. And what's interesting, this doesn't rely on modern media. It doesn't rely on TikTok, Facebook, um, uh, YouTube, or any of these modern media streaming channels. This was written many a time over this particular, uh, way before that started. So it's not based on hearsay uh, or based on somebody else's um, ideologies. It's based on uh, physiology and the results and the adaptations that both Arnold Schwarzenegger and the other great bodybuilders of the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s um, uh, got, whether that be through great genetics, nutrition, incredible athleticism, uh, determined hard work, and of course, uh, even steroids as well, of which a lot of the bodybuilders that are in their 50s, 60s, and 70s now or even older finally admitted to. Uh, I, I don't have a problem with that. Um, so uh, for me, um, if you're looking to build a better body and you want something other than a short uh, attention span, um, uh, snippet on uh, social media pages um, and, and bearing in mind a lot of the the information that we that we hear about nowadays um, about health and fitness um, comes from people quite often that actually don't have a health, health and fitness background they might have got into it an hour before or a week before or don't know anything at all whatsoever they've never actually done it themselves they're just good marketers so uh, or, or they work for big marketing corporations or food uh, corporations or or uh, whatever but what i would say always have a go-to book on your health and fitness don't go for what's modern don't always go for what's what's trending or what's considered hip cool and trendy or or something like that actually go for something that you've taken your time to look at and you think it could benefit you it's not always got to be you know glossy and shiny um, and uh, well put together. What you want is the information. Yes, okay, it does help to have pictures inside, you know, to help you. You know, we're seeing some of the greats in here, but um, bodybuilding, or the proper term for it is hypertrophy training, meaning using a, a particular te training technique where you use enough weight uh, and repetitions and volume of sets um, in your strength training to push enough blood to the muscle to stimulate the nervous system and st stimulate your musculoskeletal system enough for it to not only be bigger and stronger, but to whatever degree, uh, subjective, aesthetically pleasing. So don't confuse bodybuilding with strength training. They are symbiotic, they do work together, but they're not exactly the same, okay? And also take into account, bodybuilders are generally good athletes as well. Um, uh, I don't mean they could go out um, and ski tomorrow or swim, you know, uh, like Michael Phelps, but they've got athletic tendencies 
uh, anyhow, but anyone can turn their hand to building a better body. So here we are. Again, my, uh, one of my books that I've had now for 14, 15 years, I don't remember, uh, The Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding by Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bill Dobbins. It was actually first published, I think, in the late, ni uh, late 90s, um, and it was uh, Simon & Schuster, uh, based at the Rockefeller in New York, who I think first put the, uh, the book together. Yeah, right, okay, so, um, and it's copyrighted by Arnold Schwarzenegger and Simon & Schuster. So, yeah, get yourself a copy. I think they go on eBay now. You can get, I mean, I paid at the time, I think it was about 30, 25, 30 pound for this, but I think you can get them on eBay now for 10 pound or less. And it's a great book uh, for dads and moms to use for themselves, friends, and actually pass on to their children as well. Okay, so if you're looking for good reading material about building a better body, uh, me, my name's Tristan Lowe, um, and uh, I'm 52 years of age. I've been exercising since I was 11, as some of you may know, some of you, I grew up on martial arts and switched to basketball when I grew from five foot 11 to six feet four and uh, I was weight training, uh, as in free weights, in my 20s, body weight training since the age of 11, and I've turned my hand to golf, uh, swimming, basketball, weight training, trekking, climbing, uh, um, and, you know, and uh, I even had a game of tennis the other day. There's a story. Okay, right, so, there you go, that's my recommendation. Enjoy, get yourself a copy. It's a very, very good uh, book to keep, and it's not a novel, it's a reference book. All right. Again, um, yeah, just tune in for our next uh, show. It's the Over 40s Fitness Podcast uh, with, with me. I'm Tristan Lowe. Um, I'm based in Lincoln City, UK. But if you've got a question to ask, please feel free. Okay, uh, you could learn something from me and I could learn something from you. Yeah, so get reading.